Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Factorio with our brand new series, Bobarissimo. We're going to be playing Factorio with Factorissimo and Bob's mods. Let's take a look at the mods. I haven't done this in a while at the start. So this is what I'm using. If you ask the question, you can come back to this first video. This is it. I'm also updated the uh, Factorio mod list page on my website, pur pur purplefrogplays.com. So you can check it out there. Uh, we're going to use the advanced logistics system. This is what I've been trying to find for ages. Was not updated for 0.13 uh, until long after I had started my 0.13 campaigns, but is ready to go for 0.14 by the time I've upgraded because 0.14 has been out forever. Um, so this will uh, basically let you be able to view everything that's in your logistics network. So all those times I had problems like what the hell is in my network, I can find out. A Friend of the Dark is new to me. This was recommended by uh, Mookleptikon, um, also known as Orange. They are the one in the same. Surprise. I hope he doesn't care that I said that. But uh, anyway... We've uh, been playing our multiplayer games together, and uh, it was uh, recommended from him, and I kind of liked it. So it says enforce flashlights and personal lights, the powerful balloon lights. Um, what, what it basically does is it adds just more light. It's the more light mod plus. So these balloon lights are awesome, and we're gonna we're gonna check them out. And I'm gonna show them to you because they're they're very cool. Autofill, of course, we know and love. The base mod is the game. We're using Bob's adjustable inserters, which let you do the GUI and the hotkey. If you haven't seen Bob's mods in a while, uh, you can actually modify individual inserters, so you no longer need long inserters. I think the base long inserters are in the game because um, they are before we get to adjustable inserters, if I recall. I think science-wise, you have to do that. But then um, all the fast inserters and stack long inserters and all that stuff, they're not there because you don't need them because you can just modify it. It's really, it's quite quite convenient. Uh, of course, assembly machines four through six and all the other machines, the electrolyzers and all that business are, are all in there. The config mob just lets us configure things, which occurs to me I didn't do. So there's a couple of things I'm going to have to change for the second game. But... For the first game, it's not going to matter much. Basically, things that I need to change. So there's no God modules enabled. So before I get to God modules, I'll have to enable those. And then um, I do change something else. I can't remember what it is. It's something in the ores. Um, I don't remember, but when I look through the config mod, I will remember. Electronics is uh, the electronic production chain. So all the, the circuits and all of that business. The enemies, of course, are the biters. The functions library is where he just stores everything. The greenhouse mod adds the greenhouse. The logistics mods adds the logistics stuff that includes all the belts and whatnot. And the MCI is, of course, the new plates and intermediaries. Uh, Bob's mining is more mining things. The modules are the modules. The ores are the ores. Power is power. Um, research progress saver apparently doesn't work after 14.8. And I don't know why. And I'm wondering if maybe that's because 14.8 includes it, because I haven't read the patch notes in a while, so maybe just research progress is saved, period, in Factorio, which I would imagine to be the case. Uh, the revamp mod changes some of the initial configurations, and I'm starting with it from the beginning because I'm so used to Bob's mods now and needing things like plastic for batteries that this is just there. Uh, Bob's tech that adds some tech research. Vehicle equipment is new. I have not played with this before, so we'll see what it gets. But um, vehicles in not point fourteen can now have equipment slots like power armor. So we'll see what kind of things we can add into that. Bob's Warfare, of course, is more things. We're going to play Chainsaw. This is another Mucleptican, um edition. Mook, as he's called. Uh, this basically bridges the gap between the um, cutting trees manually and then having robots. So we'll, we'll try it out. I haven't gotten to play it yet in the multiplayer game. We didn't get to it, so we didn't play. Chunk markers. It's another new thing for MOOC. This, um, it says it adds colored hazard concrete and rectangular marker tools. Um, it adds for pla planning, which is cool. It outlines a chunk in a color, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, the clock is the clock. Factorissimo, of course, is Factorissimo. If you don't know what that's all about, go ahead and check out the other Factorissimo series. Uh, GDIW, uh, I finally included it because I keep getting the liquids messed up, so now it doesn't matter. I can just switch the... Um, recipes to either way. Hack splitters. Um, this is a, a new splitter that creates perfectly balanced transport belts. So in most locations, this will work. If you've ever seen a Roomba or Stijo, they play with these all the time. Um, it was basically brought to my attention through them, but also then Book says, look, you really need to be playing with these. And, and he's right. It, it definitely helps some things in that multiplayer that we played. Um, so in most instances, this will be good, but a couple of things like when we're bringing in two different products and we want to split them equally, that won't work. And we'll have to use the old splitters. But for the most part, this is what we need. Large inventory because I'm I'm about, um, obsessed about that. This makes me sad. Um, it's nine inch nails and ambient music tracks. We're not going to play with it because uh, it's it's if you go through it, it says hey, it's a Creative Commons license, blah blah blah. I'm like oh cool, and I check out the license, yes, but non commercial, so I can't monetize videos and use this music. So I'm using it in my personal plays, and it's cool, but unfortunately we can't use it in monetized videos. So alas. Uh, the original game music course in HD. The rail tanker is the rail tanker. RSO is RSO. Um, skip first hour. I did install this. I I have to admit, 
I now have, this will be the ninth or maybe even 10th Factorio series. You've seen me play the beginning of the game. You don't need to see me play the beginning of the game again. So I'm going to skip first hour, quote unquote, which allows me to have belts and power furnaces and, uh, and all of these things from the beginning so I can get up and rolling in, in probably 10 minutes instead of the first hour. So that's, that's why I have that in there. Sticky notes. I'm very excited about this. Um, this allows us to put things on the map as reminders. Uh, but what really, really uh, does it is that you can add, um, text on any object in the map, which uh, Factorissimo is an object. So I can uh, label these damn things instead of having to have the box outside, especially with Bob's mods. There'll be too many different icons. I'll get too confused. So this will be much, much better tree collision, of course, because it's the only way to play this game. And then yet another resource monitor fork. I haven't had a resource monitor in a while, but it's time. So I have uh, added this back into the game and it just helps ta uh, keep track of what's what's what. So we haven't made any changes, so it doesn't matter. Here are my options if you're, you're curious. So that's all that stuff is on. There you go. Uh, sounds, of course, are there. I might have to tweak these a little bit because it's a new install. So we'll see how things work. It seems okay for me now. The GUI sounds really quiet, though. So maybe I need to add the GUI up a little bit more. Um, and we'll just see how this all plays out. Yeah, it's already a little bit better. Uh, controls. Let's make sure all the mod controls are new. Uh, advanced logistics system. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't use that at all. I don't use that at all. Sticky notes is Alt W. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna use that for anything else. Uh, the chainsaw is the grave, which is just very convenient to, to use. Um, Shift E for the inserters. Yep, I'm used to that now. Control F for auto filling. Right, auto fill limits on and off. Uh, I don't care about all the shifty is everything I use for those. Okay, so everything's good. We're good to go. We are ready to start. I don't need others, right? Yep, that's all set. We go back. Uh, we are going to play. We're going to play a new game. Do -do -do. So all these ores we could change, but I'm using RSO. So actually none of this really matters. Uh, we will play infinite width and height because this is Bob's Mods campaign. So we're not going to stop. I am tempted to turn on peaceful, but I'm not going to. Um, and then go. Let's hope it doesn't crash. Sinking. And here we are. I don't need tips and tricks. Thank you very much. Um, I see that if you if you see me play and you're like, why does that always appear? It's because uh, I basically copy to a new location every time I, I change things. So the, the Steam game is actually my hands-free game. The rest of it is not. Okay, so this looks not bad. I don't think we need to regenerate it. We've got huge amounts of iron. We have our stone to start with. We have iron here. This is going to be Galena. That is quartz, tin, zinc, coal, another set of zinc, which is interesting, copper. Uh, we see over here bauxite, so we don't have to go too far for that. And then a ton of iron to start us off with, so I'm very excited about that. I think this is a good location. I think it's not that defensible, so we're going to have to consider about getting turrets and everything set up in the first place. But look at all these all the stuff that we have at the beginning. So we've got plenty of things that we can do to get started. So here's a full inventory in case you're curious. Oh, wow, it does Bob's Mod stuff too. So it gives you basic circuits, basic electronics. It's enough for two columns of steam engines, although it is slightly different than what I like because I, I run a 13 boiler. I don't like the 14 boiler setup personally. So we're going to have two extra boilers for later, which is fine. Gives us plenty of rail, gives us the trains, so we can actually start training things right at the beginning too. I don't think we need to do that, but it's certainly available to us. So let's let's take a look. Where do we put the power? I think we're gonna run power through here for two reasons. One, because this is a very defensible location and it's very inconvenient. I don't think running a bus from here is gonna be very helpful to us at all. So if I put the power here, I can wall off the power area very, very easily and then be safe and just have the, the coal, the, um, da, 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 the wires go everywhere they need to go. I'm talking really fast because obviously the game is running. So what is this? I don't know, short and long. That's the inserter thing I don't care about. Clicking on the clock doesn't do anything, but at least it shows you the clock. Um, but we, we don't want to piss people off. We do have two oil spots right there too. Unfortunately, one of them is on the iron mine, which is very annoying. I didn't know RSO could do that. How bad is it? That's the zinc. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So it's in the iron mine, but it doesn't cover up any iron. They, they cannot share spots. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, we've got plenty of gears. We've got our science ready to go. We start with a car. That feels real cheaty. I might actually blow up the car. Um, plenty of, but 
It gives you 36 inserters, but 28. What do you do with the eight extra burner inserters? Hmm. I don't know. Plenty of power assembling machines ready to go. Obviously, none of the research is done. So I just have these items. This is kind of like, hey, you had this on your ship, and then you crash landed. I'm like, oh, all right. So this is what we could salvage from the wreckage, basically. And now we've, we've started over. So let's go up to the north. We're going to put in our power. I do know that means we have to run the power around the lake. We can't go through the lake right now because reasons. There are no walls as part of the first hour. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna chop down all those trees. Is this all tree and I just didn't notice that? Okay, no, over here there's not. So this is where we'll put the power. We'll start without the trees. Oh, we're gonna have to bring coal up there though too. That's quite a distance. Hmm. Yeah, so be it. We're a long way from plastic, so it's not like anything's gonna need the coal right away anyway. Uh, so you can see we have more light. It's not quite as much light as I would like, but it is more. So that's something. And now what we need to do is, are we going to go vertical or are we going to go horizontal? There's more room horizontally, so we're going to go horizontal. Um, through this well, I don't know, vertical, I don't, I don't know. Let's throw 10 of these out there and see what it looks like. We'll go as far north as we can go. Which is quite far north. We could we can wall that off. This will be the two starting. Well, no, because I want to be. Ex well, look, I'm gonna have landfill. All right, so that's the start. All right, is that ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Am I gonna need both powers at the beginning? No, I mean ten megawatts is ridiculous. Yeah, you know, it's just start. This is start with that. Right, then blow it up. I gotta get out of that habit. It is such a huge habit, though. All right, so we have that going. We're gonna have our boilers here. This one, where are we gonna expand? We're gonna expand right? No, this will be the limit. So let's put this as our center line. Um, starting here. I don't have any rocket fuel. It's very sad. 15, so that means I put down 13. Very good. Oh, they are gapped well apart. If I had the adjustable inserters, which I don't, but if I did, I could modify these already, but I don't think I can. No, I cannot. So we will have to move one of them. Let's move, let's move the, the, these. Here's a big question. Did I put this in the right spot? It's good enough. I have all these tools, and yet yeah, nothing is in the right spot. Very annoying. Do do do. That's not what I want. I want these dudes. That shoreline's gonna be tough. We'll have to put it here. I have to do for now. That water is flowing. Why is one not enough? What the hell, man? Why is one not enough? These are level ones, right? It's 113.10. 100% it's 113.10. Why is there not more water? Maybe there's no water. It only draws a certain amount until you need it? I don't know. That's very, it's concerning though. I'll tell you that, I'm concerned. Hmm. How much belt do I have? Okay, plenty. Basically, I'm going to go around this. We're going to be cutting a lot of trees down. Obviously, it doesn't, the, the hour skip doesn't solve our tree problem. All right? It just gets us started with some other things. This may not even be enough belt to do what I need to do, but it's a start. Uh, 
I'm so used to like burning, just shooting down the trees and I can't do that. That is not an option. Somewhere in there I missed one and I can't see where. This is part of the problem with the tree collision mod. Like the tree collision mod is great because the collision boxes on trees are so low that you can easily walk through them. It's horrible because the tree collision boxes are so low, it generates just hundreds of them. Should we have started with this map? Maybe not, honestly, but I think it's it's pretty decent. I will try to remember to get the map exchange string for you at the, the in the, this first video description. If I don't remember, just uh, just let me know, and then I'll, I'll add it too. Because I'm going to be recording a whole bunch of these at once, obviously, because that's what I do. All right, we're basically at the level I need to be for this, so let's just clear some trees so I can see what the hell's going on. That's good. Get some more southern trees out of the way here. Give me some trees. There we go. I'm like, I, I need those branches out of the way. What tree is providing those branches? It's just a lot of trees, man. Woo! So what are we doing with this campaign? Well, we're going to do factories is what we're doing. Barbarissimos, man. So we're going to have huge buses. I'm going to plan for the future. I'm going to do a four bus of iron. Even if I don't use it right away, I'm going to do a four bus of iron. I'm going to do a four bus of copper. I'm going to do two steel, two gears. Um, that, so that'll be a four. All my buses will be in fours. I'm going to do circuits, uh, the basic circuits down one gear, uh, maybe even down two lines. I, I said gear, I meant to say lines. Down one or two lines. Uh, and then we'll put the advanced circuits down more lines. We will use robots to act as intermediaries between Factorissimos. So we're going to make sure to leave plenty of room on the ground in between Factorissimos. We're going to put at least six spaces in between each Factorissimo. So there's room to put chests in, there's room to run belts, because obviously I'm not going to stop doing spaghetti just because I'm doing Factorissimo. That's ridiculous. We're going to make dedicated factories, so we'll have a, a circuit factory. Inside of that circuit factory, there might be a number of things that that needs to produce. Basically, if anything needs more than four inputs, we're going to have it as its own separate thing. But if it needs fewer than that, then we're going to we're going to combine some basic materials, especially if things don't escape. Like, I'm not going to put gears into each individual factory. Well, that's crazy. I'm just going to have a bus of gears. But there may be situations where I would want to make, like, like say, engines, right? We use engines for things. So maybe that's not a great example, because we do use engines for things. But we may want to, like, if we never would need them, we, we're not going to put them out. We're not going to put them into another thing. So uh, what's something that's only used in one location? Um, I don't know, I can't think about it. But we're, we're going to have just a huge bus. A lot of things on the bus, a lot of materials being made. I'm going to give plenty of space for things. I'm going to plan at least 20 channels at the beginning. So I'm going to have that much space off. We're just going to need a ton of belt. But we have a factorissimo that we can devote to belt making. So it's not like it's going to be a huge issue. Um, all of the smelting will be done in a factorissimo because that's the obvious way to do it. You know, we don't have electric furnaces at the beginning, but we will get electric furnaces and we will smelt off of them because that's what we need to do. When you're in Barbarissimo, we're going to need just an astronomical amount of power. Uh, we will use the um, solar panel trick in order to compensate for that, but we will need just an, an astronomical amount of power because each of these Factorissimos draws uh, a, a significant amount of, mon of energy. I think I have something like, what did I have in the last campaign? Like 20 Factorissimos and it was drawing 60 megawatts of power. So they are incredible resource hogs, which is fantastic. Handcrafting will be allowed, although my habits of lately have not been to handcraft. 
Um, we do know that I can run two power columns on two miners, so we're only going to have the two miners. Although that's in vanilla, so in Bob's mods we might need four. But I'm going to just start with two. This video will end when I have the power hooked up to these, by the way, so... Um, these are weird places. My inventory is not correct by any stretch. Alright, do we even, like, splitters or anything? No, alright. Okay, so look. Empty this out. Let's put stuff where we want it. You, then you, then you, then underground belts, which we don't have. So we'll just put that in. Then the five spot would be power poles. Then the one spot would be rail. Then we'll go underground pipe. You know, it would be normal pipe, probably. Uh, that would be power, which we don't have yet. So we'll put that in. Now, that will be splitters, the hack splitters, because I'm going to use those more often. And this will be that. Okay. So this is a little more how I like it. It's a beautiful thing. It's a lot of wood we've chopped down so far. I think this is the level that we're coming at. I can't see what's going on, so give me more, give me even more trees. More trees, more trees. Okay, so that was the level. All right. Plenty of trees. So we'll use trees to jumpstart the furnaces, obviously. All right, power is attained. So what I'm going to do in here is use one of these to start the mining. No, you know what? I'm going to do two of these to start our mining operation. And in here, since we have 20 of these, we'll put that. And we'll run our power through here. This would be good because there'll be a little bit of a power station there. To there, and then the last one will be right up by these bad boys. And then I think we can get away with one set of these, can't we? No, it does not. You need two. Well, I'm going to use two. I'm just going to use these guys. That doesn't reach. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna it's not gonna work because of the double nature of the beast, which is strange, but understandable and acceptable. Alright, power has been hooked up. Now what we need to do is not worry about the second column. Because I want to spare my resources at first. Alright, so it doesn't leave me with a whole lot of wood, but it basically gets everything running. And we'll get coal up into there. Believe me, we're going to chop down plenty of trees, so it's not like I need to worry about the fact that I don't have trees doing what I need to do. Um, it is very unfortunate that I don't have really enough power to do what I really want to be done. Uh, we will have stone because we're going to need some stone, especially with factorissimos. We're going to need a lot of stone. Um, you know what? I don't want this to be that. I want this to be the box. So put that in. Uh, we're going to need these bad boys here. How far can I go? There? All right. That'll at least get me two. So now I've got stone going. Do we have... Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So that is coming along. That is too slow. So we're going to need to set up another two, which is unfortunate. Because I would like to be getting going with iron and um, everything else too. But we have to make sure power does not die. So we're going to put up four. Okay. Uh, and I think that's, that's where we're going to end it right now. There's going to be a lot of pollution down here, a little bit up there as well, and we just don't have anything to defend yet, so we're going to start doing science uh, soon. We'll, we'll handcraft some some 
uh, science for now, or maybe we may even just put up red uh, production. Do we have... Uh, we do have very limited copper, but we could do that if we really wanted to, but I think this is a good start. We have power. That's the big thing. From there on, we will get more uh, materials and to get it going. So thank you for joining me on this first video. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. If you enjoyed this particularly, click that like button. It really does help, especially on this first video, to get the notices out there and bring people in to watch this first series. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, because that also is another way to help. Plus, you'll be getting all of the uh, updates when everything goes live. But until next time, cheers.